Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So a few weeks ago, there was the uh, uh, second assassination attempt uh, to former President Donald Trump. And we got to talk about the SKS. So it has been confirmed that uh, the gun of choice of Mr. Ruth, Ryan Ruth, this is the guy, is an SKS. So I think this is a... Uh, um, modified SKS with uh, Monte Carlo stock Monte Carlo stock and people were quick to judge the setup like, like they think that uh, they were saying that I, I was reading some comments on YouTube videos they were saying that oh I think that gun will not even hit a hundred yards or a target within a hundred yards because uh, when they when they looked at the gun or the setup they saw the tapes holding the 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 scope okay so this is an SKS it shoots the 7.62 by 39 similar with an AK but look at the ma magazine uh, it's called a duck build magazine so uh, it's the you know the 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 build the 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 build of a duck okay so that is an SKS magazine. Okay, so um, reading some comments, uh, uh, they think that or they were saying that oh, that gun might not even hit something within a hundred yards because they, it was uh, jerry rigged or something. I forgot the actual terms that they were mentioning at the comment section. There were a lot. And uh, also, let's go back to that. I, I have an SKS myself. So this is me and my friend uh, doing a review on my SKS. And where's my rifle? Where's my rifle? Hold on. Yeah, this is my rifle. So this is my SKS. Uh, I put a Tapco stock. And I think that's a Tapco magazine also. And I forgot the the brand of the the rail mount on top. Uh, uh, I did my trial and error, saying setting it up like this. Cause initially, when you have an SKS and you look for um, a rail mount. You will find the dust cover with the rails on top. And first time I, I I bought one, it won't fit, so I had to file file the 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 dust cover. And then it, it, uh, I filed so much, uh, and it was loose, so I bought another one, make sh making sure that the setup is tight when inserted and still it 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 is not accurate because you know dust covers generally move every time the bolt or the bcg uh the bolt yeah the bolt moves okay or the gun moves okay because this is the bolt it goes back and forth it hits the back and your dust cover goes everywhere you know in terms of the reticle on top of, of your dust cover uh, the, the scope on top of your dust cover okay so uh, until I found this um, rail mount so it is pinned at the back the back so the, the dust cover is still here it's pinned at the back and it's pinned at the front of the uh, rear side area so it it is pinned on both ends very stable Okay, so, and uh, this gun, my gun, uh, I was surprised that it is very accurate. My my uh, my friend, my visiting friend, a few months ago, shot this, and his first shot was the in the bullseye. So he was very happy. Look at look at my setup. And after shooting the bullseye, he doesn't want to shoot anymore. It's like very, everything is very easy. 
Uh, I think he shot again and he he also he again hit the bullseye. So with this setup, 50 yards, you can shoot same hole. You can shoot the same hole inside the bullseye. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. This is my setup, and I think that's just that's just a Bushnell scope, like a uh, an eighty dollar scope that I got from Cabela's at that time. So yeah, I also added the muzzle brake and a bipod. That's uh, that's where the bayonet supposed to attach. When I bought the gun from a private seller, the bayonet was not included, so I just put a bipod. And uh, I like the, the looks of the gun. Yeah, he said this, he hit the bullseye. Uh, I like the look of the gun when the bipod is folded, especially forward, folded forward. It looks like an RPK. Yeah, he was very happy. And um, actually, he signed <laughs> he signed the, the casing, the, the the 7.62 of a 39 case that he shot with the date and signature it is very special to, to him it's just sad that he he can't bring this home back in the philippines uh yeah there you go he did some marketing so this is very special to him anyway so that's my sks that's the performance um I think uh, 7.62 by 39 is effective up to 300 yards, 5.56 five, five, to 3 up to 400 yards. Of course, you can extend it some more with specialized ammo, but that is the norm. So going back to the SKS of Ryan Ruth, Ruth, the supposed uh, shooter, this is his setup, no muzzle brake, um, he changed the stock, why? Similar to mine, because um, uh, I received some negative comments before that uh, I messed it up, I should have kept it original, but when I bought it, it, it it's just a Norinco SKS and uh, the previous owner already painted the the wooden stock so i, I didn't like it uh, if i bought a russian sks i will keep it stock because the the wood is excellent anyway so one of the comments uh, that i saw from my my gun was saying that if i put the money that i put in here somewhere then the the gun might where's my no actually this is not my gun the gun uh would have been more accurate actually that is not true that is not true so having a, uh, a scope on an sks with a solid mount is night and day compared to the regular iron sights and the reason that you need to replace your stock is for you to utilize a magazine when feeding the gun because originally the SKS feeds the rounds from the top so if there is already a scope mount and the scope on top it is impossible to almost impossible to 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 load from the top so I have to explain that to people you know, that bashing my setup, it's impossible. And I don't know, maybe you can do it, but you're gonna mess it up. You're gonna move. You're gonna hit your your mount. You're gonna hit your your scope, and who knows? Uh, it will affect the the accuracy. So it's better that it's magazine fed. Let's just put it that way. It's better if you if you're gonna scope an SKS, it's better that it is magazine fed. Otherwise, if you're gonna leave it alone, you're gonna use iron sights. There's no other way because it's it's top loading. Okay, so uh, where am I? Going back to the uh, Ryan Roots uh, SKS setup. 
people were quick to judge the setup because they saw the the electrical tape uh, wrapped on the scope and the stock but it occurred to me that this this guy might uh, this guy knows what he's doing this guy knows what he's doing um, I can imagine that he tried shooting the the setup and he realized that uh, there's movement on the scope so he just provided additional support and plus uh, you know if he's gonna ass uh, assassinate uh, the president he only needs one to two shots okay so but those shots should count that's his that's probably what he's thinking so he just wrapped it with uh, uh, electrical tape just to get off one to two shots maybe five the most okay so aside from I can't zoom in on the uh, actual scope mount but it looks similar to mine. I don't know. It looks maybe it looks similar to mine. And he just uh, added the electrical tape for support, okay, to prevent any movements. Okay. So contrary to what others uh, were saying, they were quick to judge because they saw the electrical tape. But maybe, maybe. This guy knows what he's doing. Okay. And plus, if he's going to assassinate the president, he knows he's going to be caught or he's going to throw this away. So no need to, to spend or do a fancy setup. He just needs to uh, shoot one, maybe one to five bullets. Throw it away or... Maybe when he gets caught, like what happened, it is what it is. Anyway, so that's it, guys. I just want to share with you uh, my insights being an SKS owner for so many years. And I did some trial and error regarding the, the scope mounts. And uh, don't be too quick to judge this setup. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Maybe not an, uh, as accurate as an AR-15 with scope, but nonetheless, within 300 yards, I think this gun can do it. So anyway, with that, I'm going to end this video. Hope you like my video. Please click like and subscribe. Use my Amazon link. It will not help. Uh, it will not uh, cost you anything, but will help my channel. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.